I have said, and I really want to emphasize, everything is on the table, and we are looking carefully at the holdings of oligarchs in Canada. Uh, something I learned during our uh, trade wars with the United States, uh, and it feels almost quaint to recall a time when that was our concern, um, but something that I learned, something that Canada learned, is uh, tariffs and retaliation and sanctions are the most effective when you can devise policies that have the maximum impact uh, on the counterparty whose attention you are seeking to get and do the minimal damage to yourself. And certainly the Western world has thought about that uh, in putting together the sanctions package against Russia. But I think we all also really have understood that at the end of the day, if we are truly determined to stand with Ukraine, if the stakes in this fight are as high as I believe them to be, we have to be honest with ourselves. I have to be honest with Canadians that there could be some collateral damage in Canada. And that's something that the G7 finance ministers discussed very early this morning. Um, we spoke candidly with one another and we said, in order to be really effective, in order to really have an impact, we are going to have to be prepared for there to be some adverse consequences for our own economies. Of course, that is much, much, much more true for our European partners than it is for us, but it's the reality. And I think that that's something, you know, Canadians are smart. Uh, I think Canadians understand that. 